It is a big week for our friend of the show, Andy Billman. Yes, so his film, War on the Diamond, is being shown this weekend at the Cleveland International Film Festival. Joining us live in studio with more to tell us about it. So you're from here? Yes. Yes, you have family still here? I do. I still have family members. Um, I was born in Elyria Hospital. My parents had a little apartment in North Olmsted. My dad was a oh. salesman. We eventually moved to Columbus. So all my family's basically in Columbus now. Yeah. But I'm Cleveland native. Nice. I'm still cheering. You got your hat on. Woo. Yeah, exactly. Land, right? That's right. Come on, yeah, Guardians. Right. Let's, let's, go. let's turn this around. Let's go. Let's, go. Go. let's get some energy. Let's do it. <laughs> let's talk about more of the diamond. Sure. Uh, the, whole, the Ray Chapman story. The mm -hmm. whole thing with the rivalry between the Yankees and the Indians. I think people just assume that we just hate the Yankees because right. they win all the time, right? But there's actually a, a bit of history that goes along with this. Yeah. When I was growing up, you always heard about 46. Yeah. I mean, sorry, 48. In 54, you always heard about the Bob Feller years. Mm. So when you see there, there's a 1920 World Championship. That's right. And you don't really hear much about it. So that's kind of where my curiosity started. There's a great book written by Mike Soul about the pitch that killed. And that's kind of where I got the inspiration. And to your point, Todd, I was always taught to hate the Yankees. I was taught as a little boy, you right. don't like the Yankees. Yes, I, right. yes of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. And so it all starts from this moment where Ray Chapman, who was a very popular player in the city, actually had a huge wedding with a socialite named Katie Daly and then die sadly the very next year on, in an August pitch that forever changed, obviously, everybody's lives. Mm -hmm. wow. and, and, and what's ironic is the, Gar I mean, now I want to say Guardians, the right. Indians, the Indians actually won the pennant and won the World Series that year, Despite beating, the, beating yeah. Babe Ruth. So it's an amazing story. And what I did is started in there other moments like bugs from Jabba Chamberlain, the George Steinbrenner, who is a native Clevelander, trying to buy the Indians, right. later buying the Yankees, wow. and going into the Feller DiMaggio years as well. But this isn't, I mean, obviously, it dives so deep into this historical time, but mm -hmm. it's for really anyone who yes. love this film. It's so intriguing, and it's such an incredible story. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, because this is a story for everybody. If you really like stories where it's historical, but if I, I hope really people feel it feels new, feels mm -hmm. fresh. The reenactments we did, I'm very proud of. I think it brings a new uh, style to the film. And I just hope people really learn more about our team. There's a lot to this Indians, guard, now Guardians uh, story. And I just hope they learn from it. I learned a lot while making this film. And wow. I think there's a lot of stories out there that hopefully people have never heard about before they'll come to light. I was curious about the reenactment versus any historical video you might have. Is there any video that, I don't even know how photos. photos. I mean, you got photos. Time? I mean, we made an early decision. I'm not a big reenactments guy. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, I produced a lot of films where I did reenactments. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that did not go well. But um, Paul Carruthers and I and Danielle and Pam and Art, we all sat around and very early on we decided to do reenactments and that was the right choice. Yeah. I think it actually really made the film. Where was it filmed at? All in Cleveland. We did all the reenactments okay. in Cleveland. We actually found this old um, house that Danielle Abrico found and we, she did all the costuming as well. She did all the fitting. Wow. And we had wonderful actresses and actors all from around Ohio, mostly from Cleveland oh my too. Goodness. And we did it all and like we did it all in one day. And we just shot the whole wow. thing and it, it just, it, was, it flew by. I mean, you know, on independent projects, what this is, you have to be really uh, fiscally sound. So we did it all real quickly, and it all, thankfully it all worked out. That's amazing. So home, truly homegrown. Home How grown. long is the film? It's about 75 minutes long. We could have done three hours, but I was told right. it wasn't good for marketing. Uh. <laughs> so we so did 75 <laughs> minutes. But um, I think it flies, and I think it zips. And again, for people who always wondered, as you mentioned, Todd, why is there a Yankees-Indians thing? You always hear about Yankees-Red Sox, and that is a big thing. Sure. Like, we're not comparing that. We're not saying that's not as good a rivalry. What we're saying is there's a lot of two ties between these two organizations, and here's why. Yeah. Mm. And it also had ramifications for the whole league. Correct. Batting helmets, the, the spitballs, yes. those kind of things as well. We don't have a lot of time to get into it, but those are some of the factors you'll be seeing when you catch yes. War on the Diamond at the 46th Annual Cleveland International Film Festival, which is tomorrow. 2.30, and then again Sunday at 5 p.m. Looks amazing. Also, we do want to let you know if you cannot make it to the festival this year, it all streams online as well. And that's happening April 10th through the 17th because they were doing that for COVID, and it actually was so nice and yeah. convenient yeah, for so great. many people. So you can check it out there. Too. Any other projects you got working before we go? I always have projects I'm working okay. on. I, I can't announce them today because okay. they're in production, but I'm producing three documentaries, and there's two new documentaries I'm going to be directing. They're coming out in the future. I will come on here and talk about them. Susan. Okay. Anytime. But I'll but I get killed by people who work on the staff I talk about. Too, I, understand. So I, I understand. This man must not sleep. Yeah. I mean, really, uh, what I, I don't. going on? A lot of espresso drinks. In fact, I spilled a little espresso on the way over <laughs> oh, here today. Espresso you'll, drinks are key. You'll fit right in with us. Right, <laughs> right yeah. exactly. Oh, thanks, thank Andy. You. Great to thank see you. Nice to see you. Welcome home. Thank yeah. you.